another segment of Mystery Talk. I'm Indira and with me I've got Ginny. Hi guys, thanks for tuning in again. Uh, today we're going to do a bit of a recap on our New Year's segment just to see how everyone's tracking with their goals or whatever they had set uh, for the year. So Indira, how's it been for you so far? Well, we're at April now already. I know, it's crazy. I know, we just Where's met in January. Gone? Yeah, that's right. And a lot has happened in that time frame. Like, you know, anything that, you know, day to day when you think about it, you think that, oh my God, what am I doing with my life? Nothing's really happening. But now that you ask me and I look back, so much has happened since January. It has been a very mm. eventful like few months. I mean, obviously doing this project aside. Exactly. We've been busy yep. with our two Mishy yep. yep. segments as well. But how have you been going with, I guess, the resolution of uh, clearing out toxic people from your life and just think focused on your goals and, yeah. you know, just uh, self-care and, and all that. So Okay. So, well, in terms of clearing out toxic people out of my life, people have actually cleared themselves out. <laughs> I found um, as you vibrate higher, as your energy, as yeah. your aura gets better, people that just don't no longer belong there, they just leave. Like you just repel those people and you become a magnet to those like-minded people like yourself. Yeah. 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 Um, in terms of other resolutions like health, um, I've been trying to maintain a certain lifestyle. However, you know, if you want to maintain in like a social life, it's really difficult, especially eating out with yes. your friends, you know, always like, oh, have one drink yeah, of or, yeah. you know, order some food. One time won't matter, but one time does really add up. Because it adds up. Crazy. Yeah, yes. because like you're doing that so many times yes. and it's like you're having, indulging in like dessert or like calories with alcohol and, yeah. and whatnot. So not just about the weight thing, like no. you said, you are what you eat. That's exactly right. So it right. shows like on yeah. your face. And so now I'm becoming you know. a pizza and pasta because that's all I've been eating the last few weeks. <laughs> but, yeah. you know, that's getting better. It's getting better. Um, there have been setbacks this year. I'm not going to lie and say everything's been great and I've been, you know, following my goals because that wouldn't be realistic. Uh, there have been setbacks in terms of, you know, work, in terms of relationships, in terms of finances. Like, you know, last month my house got robbed. So that's really put me back. It, you just yeah. feel so invaded. Like, yeah. it's such an invasion of privacy. Right. It yeah. just really rocks your world. It does, it definitely. Really rocks your world. So like. it's not just financially putting you back. It's just like all the paperwork towards the insurance yeah. companies, contacting the police, and that violation of privacy. So that constant paranoia that someone's been in my bedroom, someone's been in my house, someone's been watching me. That sort of, you know, takes a while to recover from. But of yeah, course it does. So I'm so sorry you have to like go no, through that. I know, that's been like really, really terrible, but I've had lots of support from my friends and yourself. So that's been really good. Um, other than that, I've been trotting along slowly, trying to achieve my goals one by one. I have maintained my diary, like I Very said. Very good. So I've been writing everything down and just crossing it off. And I find that writing things really work for me. That's sensational. I think like you've just really been like keeping focused on like, you know, your goals and true to like what you had set out uh, for yourself. Yeah. No matter the hurdles. Like, yeah, you've despite the hurdles. really done such a sensational job yeah. in just pushing through all that. Yeah. And Thank kept you. it together. Well, yeah, I kept found... it together. Yeah, I found that in March was the most difficult month for me. Like I did feel like I was going through a bit of a transformation, yeah. although I was coming out and, you know, smiling. You know, externally I had this sort of, you know, image that I was portraying to the world but internally I was going through a lot of transformation a lot of learning about myself um, experimenting on different things and sort of reinventing myself I can say and now I think that I'm finally ready to be myself again and yeah. I think our uh, Mishi Talk advice uh, that we've been sharing with our viewers have come in handy for obviously our own lives as well hasn't it definitely yeah yeah yes. we so, can't just be preaching and then not following that ourselves. yeah you have so, to practice what you preach yeah. Yeah. yeah, definitely. So what did you order? I ordered some all grey tea. I need a little bit of like afternoon, yeah. you know, like pick me up, you know. So my year has been a bit of a whirlwind. So I wouldn't say negative, but it's just a lot has been happening with this project. Things have been opening up. You know, a lot of, uh, you know, months and years of work has like finally sort of coming into fruition mm. and I'm really enjoying like what I've been doing but I think I have to say since starting this project with yourself it's been mostly positive uh, feedback from people but there have been a few haters out there hello haters <laughs> we know who you are and we know you're still watching us 
despite yeah. you hating us. <laughs> but you're our fan. Yeah. <laughs> you can't stop watching. Yeah. Right? You want to, you know, spew hate, but you still want to keep watching. Which exactly. is fine. Like, you know, whatever, whatever. Whatever um, rocks your boat. Whatever rocks your boat. <laughs> so there's been some interesting comments, interesting propositions, um, a few inappropriate uh, propositions. Um, but uh, I think that's only fueling me to um, be my best self ever more. So keep bringing the hate. You want to keep bringing yourself. the hate because it's yeah. motivating us. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's not going to knock us down. No. Um, as I said, if you don't have any constructive to say, then really you shouldn't really say anything at all. You're actually giving us more content to talk about, really. Yeah. <laughs> that is true. Yeah. That is true. You know, as so people have, you know, said things, um, you know, made comments about, oh, what are you doing? Like, who do you think you are? Like, doing or putting yourself out there uh, in this way? Don't you have anything better to do with your time? Well, tomar there con ocasión, Like, you guys are like, with all due respect, yeah. if you're not in my circle and um, I'm not acknowledging your existence, your opinion really doesn't matter. I'm sorry. Like, it sounds rude, but it really doesn't. No, well, we don't have time for that. Yeah. We really don't have time for that. Yeah. If we're going to sit there listening to everyone's opinion, giving everyone the time of day that we have, then we're not going to get anywhere in life. Yeah, let's Abs- face it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And I appreciate you taking the time out and to talk about me and giving me that kind of attention and energy. So thank you. Keep it coming. <laughs> well, yeah, and it's really, really saddens me that the haters are people that actually know us. Yeah. They're not like some random strangers. Yeah, there are some random strangers, yeah. but people yeah. that actually know us from childhood. You know, yeah, a few, few people who like known like, us for a you know a, some time who are not really in our life, yeah. but have like known, known us. us. Yeah, um, you know, we've I guess just kind of lost touch or parted ways for like whatever reason. Um, and I'm glad that we're bringing some entertainment into your life that you find this um, amusing or whatever it brings to well, your life. Well, they are obviously. <laughs> huh. yeah. So what do you do? What do you do about it? How do you block out? Block it out. I don't, I mean, everyone has their own way of processing um, these types of like, negativity or comments and things like that. To me, being obviously not just with this project, but with my dance performances, I've been in a public arena or forum for many, many like years. And, um, you know, it's, it's been mostly positive, but there have been, you know, times that people haven't like responded um, so kindly and what, what, but I've just grown to have a really thick skin and um, only take on board the opinion of people that really matter. Mm-hmm. That's going to help me grow and evolve. Um, and that's it. And that's coming from a genuine place. Not for the fact of, you know, saying something because something's lacking in yourself or lacking in your life. And I think that's predominantly for me, that's what I think where it comes from. Where Their people, insecurities. Their insecurity, yeah. That you feel the need to like, you know, send me like random messages when I don't even know who you are. Um, you know, there's some funny comments which I can't repeat one of them, but it's been, it's quite um, hilarious. I might put it out there on uh, our social media, so you might want to uh, spill it. Want to uh, check that. <laughs> <laughs> now, it's quite really funny just about, um, you know, because of the way I maybe carry myself, that um, I don't need to do anything with my life and um, I've just got sugar daddies like lined up. <laughs> Where are you guys? Where are you? <laughs> <laughs> I wish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually, I'm like, I don't know whether to take that as a compliment or an insult, but I just found that to be very humorous. Um, I don't know what it is about my life that um, made these people actually think like there are all these sugar Well, I think like, it's a lot up. of jealousy um, that you're a self-made woman, that you can carry yourself in a certain way, that you can wear designer things that you maintain your image and your look, people think, well, how is she doing it on her own? And I hate it how women hate on women. Yeah, well, it actually didn't come from a woman. It's oh, actually, actually did it? Yeah, this one didn't actually come from a woman. No, it actually came from a male, which I find uh, very interesting. Mm-hmm. So if I did have sugar daddies lined up, I would be on a private chair right now. So if I was going to settle, I would be settling big. <laughs> right? So <laughs> just to answer your, your comment, you know, there are no sugar daddies like lined up, unfortunately. But hey, Likewise. those, yeah, but again, those who, you know, have three days in their life, that's your choice. You know, more power to you, it's all good, but that's um, not us. Yeah, so, yeah. I mean, obviously we live in a country and a society where there's freedom of speech, so that's good. Yeah. Say whatever you want to say, have your own opinion, we don't care. <laughs> Bottom line, that's what uh, yeah. it comes down to. Yeah. Yeah. So the more you try at us, I think that's just going to give us more ammunition and fuel us to 
even, um, you know, go stronger. Yeah, and a lot of my girlfriends, they're starting businesses, they're yeah. actresses, they're models, and they're going higher places, and they always have people that are pulling them down. Yeah. Whether it's someone in their inner circle, and that's the saddest, because they think that, you know, that person's their best friend, and they would never, ever think badly of them, or want bad for them, but... There it's always needs common. people in your circle that you know are the ones who are actually, um, you know, saying these types of like yeah, negative they, comments. Yeah. And it's very unfortunate. I saw a post um, of someone that I know, and um, you know, unfortunately, she lost a, a dear friend of hers recently to suicide because of all the judgments was, that was being passed on her mm. from society or how like men um, viewed her in a certain way. Yeah. Like for someone to be driven to suicide because of like bullying and judgment and you just think about that like to take your own life like think about that when you're spewing like hate or hateful like words and things like that the impact that's going to have like on someone yeah the other other person might not be as strong as you they might not have coping mechanisms they might not have the friendship support and the circle to sort of help them overcome and go through these things so really there's no need to be nasty and mean like I think just like seeing that post and I'm, I just really sort of woke me up and um, you know just from that point I was just like the world can say whatever they want to say because yeah. your opinion really is um, with all due respect irrelevant Yeah. if it's not adding value to us plain and simple yeah so enough of the hate talk yeah. what have you actually done throughout the you know from January till April um, I've been working on a few projects we collaborated with um, you know my dance front um, got to host a really talented dancer from yes. the US oh, wow. Anisha Babo she was absolutely incredible loved uh, having her here and hosting her she really sort of pushed me um, as an artist as a performer to the next level you know where I thought I could not um, go a few cuts and bruises later <laughs> but it was uh, definitely uh, definitely worth it and um, I think I just sort of forgot how much I missed um, learning and absorbing like new knowledge and and growing you know I've been sort of taking the role as a teacher for so many years and I love doing that but sometimes teachers also need inspiration that's it as to well grow. to grow and just for personal development and you know um, on that front so that's been you know amazing so I've been really pushing um, I guess more of those collaborations with you know other um, artists or other businesses and uh, and things like that just to um, push my boundaries and try different things really. That's really amazing. Yeah. 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 So shout out to Anisha. Yes, Anisha, if you're watching. It's incredible having you here and I can't wait to uh, have you back. And uh, yeah, guys, if you're not following her, definitely uh, check out her YouTube channel. Some incredible, incredible uh, work on there. Yeah. Yes, I'm, gonna, I'm feeling a bit hungry, so I think it's time to get our food yeah. yes perfect so we're for the the super yeah the super salad super salad. Chicken salad. yes please yes let's have a chicken salad yes thank you that looks absolutely sensational i'm starving so i can't wait to dig in so i think uh, that's going to be signing out for us now guys All right, till next time. Thank you so much for joining us. Subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more Mishti Talk.